Well, the St. Paul City Council will soon vote on what to do with the 122-acre site where the Ford plant used to sit. But the city's plan has neighbors at odds with each other over how the site should be redeveloped. While most agree with the plan to include housing, retail, green space, and shops, as Red Chapman shows us, not all are happy with the density of the proposed project. Dueling lawn signs and yards across the Highland Park and Matt Groveland neighborhoods in St. Paul shows a difference of opinion in how the old Ford plant site should be developed. What the city's proposed is far too dense in terms of the population that it's proposing to put on a relatively small area. The, the group, so Neighbors for a Livable St. Paul, says to put more than 7,000 people in a space less than 0.2 square miles will impact the quality of life of the rest of the community. The traffic is certainly a concern. But the group sustained Ward 3 likes the plan. It says hits all three of its core values of community, fiscal, and environmental sustainability. Fiscal sustainability because we have a huge hole in our budget. We need that increased tax base. Uh, denser communities are more walkable, they're more transit connected, so that's that environmental piece. And then community sustainability, this is the equity piece that I think gets lost a lot of times. You see a lot of all are welcome here signs in this neighborhood, and we really want to say all are welcome here. There's very strong views in the neighborhood. Ward 3 City Councilman Chris Tolbert is the man in the middle of this fight. As Winston Churchill says, it's, it's not the end, but the end of the beginning. And we're just setting that framework and putting forward that, um, that vision for a developer to work with them. Tolbert believes pushing forward now will keep the city of St. Paul in the driver's seat for the development of the site. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. St. Paul City Council will hear from the public next week and make a decision the following week on rezoning the site.